Rams Chiefs final score, defense plays well, offense not so much in loss. Los Angeles drops to 3-8, stays put in last place in the NFC West. The Rams headed out to Kansas City to take on one of the hottest teams in the NFL in the Chiefs, as Bryce Perkins got his first career start for a struggling LA team. For the fifth consecutive week, the Rams lost, dropping their record to 3-8. Hello Rams fan, welcome to the channel, first of all I ask you to subscribe to the channel, share and activate the notification bell so you don't miss any news from the team. Final score, Chiefs 26. Rams 10. Los Angeles started the game on defense, and they got off to a solid start by only allowing one first down in their first series before forcing a KC punt. Before the punt, coach Sean McVay took a huge shot to the jaw as a player was running on the field, perfectly encapsulating the Rams' season thus far. The Rams proceeded to then go three and out, then punted it back to the Chiefs in which their returner muffed the punt and the Rams recovered. However, the LA offense could not capitalize on the extra opportunity, failing to get a first down yet again. Then, the Kansas City offense would get going, putting together a solid drive before Patrick Mahomes connected with, you guessed it, Travis Kelsey to give the Chiefs an early 7-0 lead. LA would respond with a pretty impressive drive themselves, stacking first downs before stalling out in Chiefs territory. Matt Gay would connect on a 47-yard field goal on the first play of the second quarter, making the score 7-3 Chiefs lead. Kansas City would proceed to march downfield with relative ease, before the defense held strong inside the red zone to force the Chiefs to settle for a field goal, making the score 10-3 Chiefs with 9.50 left in the first half. The Rams would line up in punt formation on 4th and 5 close to midfield, then proceed to run a fake punt to convert in a pass from punter Riley Dixon to Jacob Harris to keep their drive alive. However, LA could not do anything with it, as they ended up having to punt just 3 plays later. KC would get into the red zone once again and, once again, the Rams' defense would force them to settle for another field goal making the score 13-3 Chiefs lead with 16 left in the first half. The Rams would kneel out the quarter, taking their 10-point deficit into the locker room at the break. The Rams' lack of offense would continue after halftime, as they would start the half with yet another 3-and-out, as the passing game seemed to be simply non-existent. On the ensuing Chiefs drive, they would methodically march down the field once again, except they would cash in with a touchdown this time around, increasing their lead to 20-3 with 6.32 left in the third quarter. Then, Los Angeles would put together a magnificent drive, ending in the first career touchdown pass for Bryce Perkins as he connected with Van Jefferson to make the score 20-10 with 14.56 left in the game. The Kansas City offense would get all the way inside the red zone yet again, except the Rams' defense came up huge with an interception in the end zone by Nick Scott to give the team some real life in the fourth quarter. However, Perkins would give the ball right back to the Chiefs, throwing an interception with just over 8 minutes left in the game to put the Chiefs right back into the red zone. But, the defense would continue to shine close to the end zone, as they held KC to another field goal to make the score 23-10 Chiefs lead with 6.36 left in the contest. Then, the dagger came, as a deflected pass was intercepted by the Chiefs to mark Bryce Perkins' second interception of the game, ending any comeback hopes for the Rams. The defense would proceed to hold the Chiefs to another field goal, making the score 26-10 with under 2 minutes left.